yes, it feels like it will be a combative show. Uh, we've all been at these dinky little pubs and dinky little restaurants where you walk and you think, Jesus, how do they even earn a living in this shithole? I shit hole? know, and that's where Colin Fastnage comes in with Kitchen Nightmares Australia um, because he will tell you exactly what's wrong with the place, what's wrong with the food, and he can be brutal, and now, that's Colin, why we love it. Welcome. Not everyone wants to hear the direct truth. Have you realised as you've gone around filming this that people, f they feel like they want help, but when you actually offer mm. it, they don't want to hear it. Well, see, here's the thing. They they, they invite us in yeah. to a show called Kitchen Nightmares, right? <laughs> yeah. They yeah. invite us in. We rock up, and then I start telling them what's wrong, and then you see their eyes sort of rolling in their head like, <laughs> what the <laughs> what fuck have we, have I done? What have we got ourselves in for? <laughs> Did, and, and I always find those episodes are the best when the owner or the person running the restaurant just thinks there's nothing wrong or it doesn't agree with you and they start arcing up and, you know, it gets a bit it oh, gets that's a, bit a mistake. Fiery. A lot of people making that mistake by the look of the promos. A lot I, of people are arcing up. I think I got kicked out of three joints. They were really? just like, get, get, it, get out. Are you joking? Even yeah. though they oh, knew the what they were doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's great TV, though. <laughs> do Amazing. you get to like? Do, uh, are there some where you go? You know what? I went. That restaurant went from here to here after I was finished with it. Oh, there was. But I, right, I'll put it this way, Kyle. Would you eat a frozen oyster oh. that they defrost it in a sink that's got like a blue plaster, dirty cloths? And oh. then they wash it off, put it on a plate, send it out to you, and tell you it was fresh. Well you, well, you wouldn't even know if you, because all that's happening behind the scenes. So I'm just sitting out there waiting for the plate to be delivered. How do I know what the hell is going on? There is some wrong town dishes getting served <laughs> to people. Oh my god! See, that's god. concerning. That's concerning. You know, I mean, these are they, uh, and are they making a good living? These restaurants, or well, are they actually? Jackie. Obviously Almost, not on yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a disaster, there's, right? There's some real weight loss uh, dishes on there. Put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask as a chef yourself, if, you, if you're running a restaurant, what's like the worst thing you could do that would piss off a chef as a customer? Oh, as a customer? In a, in a restaurant, yeah. No, I think it's just rude customers. Like, rude to yep. front of house staff, I think. That's, that's you know. Yep. So it's unnecessary to be rude to the waiting staff. I find that a lot of people do it, and I don't know why. It's 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 ugly. A lot of guys, it's usually guys as yeah. well, do it to big note themselves. Yeah, to make right. themselves look and, good. And by the way, that's so not impressive if yeah, you're exactly. on a date. That um, doesn't wet you up, Jackie, when a guy's no, berating I, the, I the would, waitress? Oh, that'd be a deal breaker. I'd be out of there. <laughs> um, what about sending a meal back? Have you ever done that at another restaurant? Uh, I haven't sent... Look, I just don't go back. Yeah, same. Yeah. But yeah, I would never send it back. I just don't need the drama. I have enough drama. I know. Can and I ask Colin, uh, I like my steak well done. Oh, now, I've noticed no. that chefs do not like really, because even when I say, I'll say to the waiter, oh, can I have it, you know, medium to well, more on the well side, it always comes out with the blood oozing out. And I think, uh, I feel that over all these decades yes. that I've been getting this meat, my vibe is the, the, the chef doesn't want to make it all dry and brown looking. Oh, uh, you don't, you don't want to, but you know what? Your money is the same money for the well done as it is for the medium rare. And in yes. this day and age, if you're not doing it properly, you know, everyone's but, money's the same. But do you and think steak right. can taste great well done? No. I what? agree. Yeah. That's but yeah, but cool. add it in tomato sauce and you get that <laughs> thing going <laughs> on here. We're off. two in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. It do tastes great at two in the morning. Do you have your steak rare or medium rare? Medium rare. Yeah, me well, too. My, my, my old man growing up, everything in our house was well done. It was oh, like eating what else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, any meat. Well done. Now, I Colin, you've had an observation of our, our working area out there, and it's time for the for the bit of truth. There's not a lot of work going on, full stop. <laughs> <laughs> I've they, always we been like them to have suspecting fun that. Colin, well. you need to get back here. The people out there are just dancing around, drinking. No, no, we I encourage know, that. Oh, do you? Yeah. Someone's yeah. in the it's corner with a needle us. hanging out their arm yeah. in the corner there. I stood over two people. <laughs> Is there anything you've noticed just yep. on the visual? Yep. Like you walked in, oh, you yeah, looked at it. Oh yeah, gone to everyone's mess. desk. I've got a you? list. I've got a oh, list. Oh, oh, fire off! On your desk, does it, uh, hand what is, hand job lotion? Yes, that's right. Yep. What's that about? That's Kyle. That's Kyle. He does, loves now, that. Now, now, <laughs> uh, on the first glance, it looks like it's some sort of jerk off potion, but it's not. It's just a hand sanitizer, and a listener had made it called Hand Job, and we found it very funny, so we bought it. 
and the nail clippings on the floor, Kyle. What's that about? That's that's that that's Mitch. That's not that oh. fat Mitch at night. Yeah, he's he's a chewer. He's chewing his fingernails up and spitting them on that. He's disgusting. Yeah. Pete Pete's desk is it smells. It smells. It's got oh. old plates, <laughs> old coffee cups. There's Yuck. three boxes of tissues. What's that about? Is that next to the? Uh, <laughs> top, uh, I why think it's next have, to the lotion. Why do you have three boxes out there, Pete? No, that was Pedro's desk. That's not mine. Oh, they're okay. sharing. They're sharing. Yeah, okay. they do job share. Yeah, Mayo's desk has got what? Empty bottles, sangria bottles, oh, adult what, diapers. Oh. Oh, what? the adult diaper. Oh, is they, are they for you, Jackie? No, I'm going to throw Mayo under the bus on that one. <laughs> hey, you got a lot of discharge Jack- going on, Mayo? Why are those nappies there? Jackie's yeah, desk. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. What's Jackie's desk got? You've got look. breakfast on there. Just- yeah. There's hair. I've, Have a look I've at got, this. I've shit. got. I've got a lot of God, salt and pepper mess. shakers. There's and moths under the table. Oh, thanks. And I was just in one of your boots next door. Boots, is that what you say? What? And there's possum boots, piss yeah. on the roof. On the roof. I swear. Oh, it, in yeah, the tiles. There, oh, yeah. yeah, there is. Yeah, it's I, not d- a joke. No, I've noticed that stain up on that on yeah. that uh, that roof tile. It's big yellow stain, and oh. I thought the same thing. That's a possum. Oh. It's a possum piss, I've never or a possum that. decomposing up there, or something weird. And there's a lot of vaseline under desks. Oh, we all yeah. love Vaseline. Yeah. 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 It's for our lips. It's for the older ladies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's my demographic. <laughs> so this is tomorrow night. And is it going to be like a couple of nights a week or just one night a week? It's one night a week. And look, look in all, everyone says all the, well, the Daily Mail said there's all these F-bombs. But I'm surprised they can actually read or count at the same time. But anyway. <laughs> it, <laughs> so is it, do they beep you out at 7.30 at night? Yeah, but then there's a no. later version on the. Uh, on the catch up, you can. There's everything's in there. Oh, and good. Oh, the seven. So it's on seven and seven plus. plus so but it's actually a good. Like it is. Apart from all like the nastiness and what, there is good stories. Like people are three hundred grand in a hole. People yeah. are selling the car to pay wages. Yep. Like there's a lot of a lot of tears, and that's just not for me. That's just from people who are desperate. And there's a lot of good tears at the end. Not for everybody. No. Because not know. everybody wants to listen and change. That's right. That's the but tough thing. You never know do. what you're going to get when you go to these places, right? And it's, then do uh, you do, once you've done the... the Because usually what they do is they close the restaurant down, you fix it, and then they have a reopening night. Do you do that? We do all that. And then we do a big refair. We do a new menu. Everyone, oh, great. Lo- everyone loves me, uh, and then I leave. You're the king. <laughs> yeah. And then you're out of there. I'm I love this. See ya. And what, uh, it's a great idea. We've seen them before. Kitchen Nightmares Australia premieres 7.30 tomorrow night on 7 and 7 Plus. Colin Fastnich is in charge. Couldn't think of a better person to run this yeah. whole thing. Yeah. You're the only you're one, the really. Per- you're the person to do it. Oh, yeah, and sure. by the way... Keep an eye on, uh, if you're watching the whole season, everyone, keep an eye on Colin's clothes because I've collected all of those clothes that he wore from Channel 7, and but they I thought they were beautiful, but they don't fit me, so I've given them all to my manager, Bruno. See, how did that happen? What's that? I just took them from the from the Mate, from the take, wardrobe. It's TV. They take everything back. Nothing's yeah, for no, free. I took yeah. I took it all anyway. I put Carl's the whole rack in the car. Saying he took all your clothes. Yeah, I'm going to take his next year. Uh. Oh, well, you'll never fit in those. <laughs> <laughs> you and your missus can fit in that. It's ridiculous. In them. <laughs> <laughs> so check it out on TV tomorrow night, seven thirty, Channel Seven. Colin, good work, man. I can't wait to watch Thanks, the whole Colin. thing. Thanks, guys.